In this video, we're gonna be going over how to create websites with Go High Level for local businesses. I'm also gonna share with you two ways that I use to find businesses who don't have websites. And you're gonna be surprised on how many businesses just don't have websites. You would think that it's 2023, having a website is a must, especially when there's other companies out there who are leveraging AI technology, but a lot of businesses just feel fine without one. So the hard part is gonna be trying to convey the importance of having a website in 2023, because at the end of the day, these businesses that you reach out to don't care about having a new website. All they care about is making more money. So when reaching out to these businesses, we need to create an offer around that, making more money. So if you're reaching out to businesses and you just say, hey, I could create you a new website, they're not really gonna care because they're doing just fine with that one, or at least they think they are. What most businesses don't know is that if they just had a simple landing page, maybe a chat widget, a form that their leads can fill out, they would be making significantly more money in their business. Now on top of that, if they had many Google reviews with their website, that would just be a total game changer. And those are all things that we can provide to the business owner with our software. We're not just going to be selling them a website, we're going to be selling them on our white labeled version of Go High Level, which comes with many other features. Because if we just try to sell them a website, our offer is going to be pretty weak. Just selling a website by itself is going to be hard. But luckily, thanks to Go High Level, we can go ahead and add other features to the website to make our offer more intriguing. All right, so there's two ways that I like to find businesses who don't have websites. One is going to be using Google Maps. And the second one is going to be using Instagram DMs. So for the first one, all you're going to want to do is go to Google, then you're just going to want to type in a business industry. So for this example, I'm going to be searching for pressure washing companies. And you're just going to want to come over here to the Google My Business listings. And then you could go ahead and click on more businesses. And then you'll be able to see hundreds of businesses in your area that you could potentially target. And all you're going to want to do is look for businesses who don't have a website linked to their listing. As you can see here, these guys don't have a website. Neither do these guys. These guys don't have a website. These guys don't have a website. And then you could click on next. And then as you can see here, there are a lot of businesses who are missing websites. And these are all businesses that we can call up and pitch our software to. And when you're creating your offer, again, just remember that all they care about is getting more leads and making more money. So you don't necessarily just want to say, hey, let me build you a website. Now that can work, but it's going to be a lot harder to get the business owner interested because right now they don't have a website. They probably haven't had a website for years. And to their knowledge, they're doing just fine. All right. So if you don't want to do cold calls, there's another way that you can find website calls and it's with Instagram. All right, so once you're inside of Instagram, all you have to do is go to the search bar and then search for a hashtag that's related to the business that you're targeting. So for this case, I'm searching for hashtag pressure washing, but I could have also searched for something like hashtag power washing or hashtag power washing services and so on and so forth. You just wanna target the hashtags that you think the business owner is using. So now all I have to do is come in here and I'll see a bunch of pressure washing posts. So all I have to do is click on one of these open link new tab. And as you can see here, these guys don't have a website. So this is a potential client that I could reach out to. All I would have to do is click on message and reach out to them that way. Then I could come back here, keep scrolling. Here's another post. All I have to do is click here, open link a new tab. And as you can see here, this is another business that doesn't have a website. So again, all I would have to do is click on message and reach out to them. And then I could keep scrolling, keep scrolling. All I'm looking for is a Instagram post that looks like a pressure washing business. So here's one open link a new tab. And then as you can see here, another business without a website. Again, I could just message these guys and pitch my services to them. All right, so let's say that we're reaching out to this business right here. Here's a hack that you can use to almost guarantee a close every single time. So somewhere in your conversation with this business, you just want to mention that you could send them a free mock-up and see what they think. And nine times out of 10, they're going to be like, okay, whatever, go ahead. So what we're going to want to do is just go into go high level, add their logo and branding to a website template, and then send that template to them and then tell them, hey, here's a website template that I just created for you. If you like it, let me know what you think and I can finish it. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And the first thing you're going to need is their logo. So in order to download their logo, you can just go ahead and copy their Instagram link. Then you're just going to want to go to Google and search for Instagram profile picture downloader. So this is the website that I'm using toolzu.com. Now all I have to do is copy the Instagram link in here and then click download. And then you'll see their logo right here. And then you can just click download. So as you can see here, it just downloaded. And that's how you're going to get their logo. All right, so now that we're back inside of Go High Level, you're just going to want to jump into a sub account where you're going to create this template in. Then you could go to sites. And then depending on the industry that you're targeting, you can either go to websites or funnels. But since I'm targeting a pressure washing company, Go High Level has a pressure washing template inside of funnels. So I could just click on new funnel, choose from templates. And then you're just going to want to find a template for the business that you're targeting. So if I type in clean, as you can see, 
see here, Go High Level has a pressure washing template that I can use. I can just click on continue, get this template. Then I could just go ahead and edit this template. So I'm just gonna click on edit. All right, so now I'm not necessarily gonna finish this website. I'm just gonna create the business owner a quick sample that I can send to them and see if they like it. So what I'm gonna wanna do right off the bat is add their logo. And to do so, I just need to click here. Then I could come scroll over here to where it says image, click the icon, add in their logo that we downloaded. So I could just click on it. And now this logo is pretty huge. So we could just change the width. So let's just say 150. Now we're gonna wanna change this background to the same background of the logo. So I could just click here, change the background to white. And now that that's done, I can now change the colors of this template to match their brand colors. So I could come over here to this bar, go to where it says background color, add their brand colors, which is this color right here. And as you can see here, this changed. Then I could change this button to their brand colors. So I could just click on this, come over here to this text and change this to their brand colors. Then I could come over here to this background, go to background color, choose their colors. Then I could come over here and choose light fade. Then click on this text, change the text, change the button. Basically anywhere where you see color, you're just gonna wanna change the default color to their brand colors. And then down here, you're just gonna wanna add their logo again, change this background to white to match the background of their logo. And then you can go ahead and change these icons and anywhere else that you see color. All right, so basically once you add their logo and their brand colors to this website template, you can then just click on save. And then to make this website template look more appealing, you can go ahead and add a chat widget to this website. So to do that, you just exit out of here, go to where it says chat widget, then come down here. And then you're just gonna wanna change the widget color to their brand colors and then click save and now you can go ahead and get the code copy this code then go back to funnels go back to the site that you're building edit the page and then just come over here to where it says settings tracking code click on footer code paste it in here and then click save now if you click on preview you'll see what the website template looks like and you'll also see the chat widget that you just added and by adding this chat widget will just make the website look cleaner so this website template is what we can send to that business but before we do that to make this website template look even better we can go ahead and add a calendar when they click on book a call so as you can see here obviously the calendar is not going to be hooked up now to add a calendar you're first just going to want to go to settings then you're going to want to go to my staff and make sure that you add an employee it could just be a fake made up employee like this one. So once you have that, you could then go over here to where it says calendars, click new calendar. You could just click on round robin and then add user. And then you just want to select the staff member that you just created and then meeting location. You could just type in phone and then you could just name it calendar. And then in here, you could just put whatever you want. And then you could change the color of the calendar and then you could just click save. A lot of this information doesn't really matter because this is just an example. Click save and continue. And then there you go. You should have a calendar. So once you go back here to calendars, you'll see a calendar that you can use for your funnel or website. So to link this calendar to our funnel or website, just go to sites, click on your site, then go to the booking page, click on edit. And then where it says you don't have a calendar yet, you could just click on it, then come over here to the left and scroll down to where it says calendar. And then you could click on the calendar that you just created. So there you go, you'll see the calendar. Now if I click on preview, when the business owner clicks on book a call, it'll take them to this page where they can book an appointment. So once I'm done editing and adding some other information to this template, I can go ahead and send them this template link and to get this link I can just click on home then click right here to preview the link now all I have to do is copy this website URL come back here to the business owners page and then send this link to the business owner and just tell them something like this hey I just created this sample for you guys let me know what you think and if you like it I could go ahead and finish creating this for you and by sending them this website template there's something called the law of reciprocity where if you do something for someone for free they will feel inclined to return that favor and in this case a lot of the times the favor is payment for your website by sending them this template, you're going to gain a lot of trust with them. And they're going to feel like you really care because you took time out of your day to go ahead and create them a personalized site. So most likely the business owner is going to say, yeah, I like it. Go ahead and finish it. Now, for any reason, if they say that, no, I don't want it. Don't stress about it because all you would have to do is come back to that website template, click on edit, and then you can just go back to Instagram and find more businesses without websites. And then you could just repeat the process until you find a paying client. So all you would have to do is just swap out their logo with the new businesses logo and swap out the colors real quick. And then just like that, you can go ahead and send the template again to a different business. And then let's say you do find a business that wants this template. It's going to be really easy finishing building this website. So what you could do is just send them a onboarding form so you can collect some more information about their business to help you with this website creation. And then once they filled out that onboarding form, all you have to do is come in here, swap out some of the text, go ahead and swap out some of the images if you want. A lot of times they'll have a lot of images that you can use. And then you could come down here, add in their business information like their email and phone, their social media 
landing pages. And then just like that, you can create a full website for a business in under 20 to 30 minutes. To recap, all you have to do is find businesses without websites. If they show a little bit of interest, tell them that you can create them a free mock-up, add their logos and colors to a go high level website template, send them that template. If they like it, great, you can finish it for them. If they don't like it, just rinse and repeat, find a new business, swap out their logo, swap out the colors, and then resend the template to the new business. All right, so that's how you can create and sell websites to local businesses. By using this website template hack, you're gonna be able to close a lot of clients. Now, remember, you have a go high level SaaS business. So if you wanna make more money with this, you can add on other features of go high level, such as automations or reputation management. Now, if you want me to make a more in-depth video on how to do outreach, where I can show you exactly what I say, I can show you some scripts that I use, let me know down below. Also, if you're new to go high level and you wanna learn how to set up your business, I do have a free course in the description that you could check out. Lastly, don't forget to like and follow and I'll see you in the next one.